At first, you may not think that the eclipse has anything to do with our local blood supply, but it's actually a big safety concern for South Texas Blood and Tissue Center employees. With thousands of more people coming to the Hill Country, extra blood will need to be on supply for any extra accidents or emergencies. Courtney Friedman tells us it will take your help to boost that supply that's already running low. Jake Abralsik donates blood and platelets for a special reason. My uh, maternal grandmother passed away from cancer at age 43, and so that's the big driver. What he didn't know is his blood may help people visiting South Texas from states and even countries away. The total solar eclipse is bringing thousands and thousands to smaller communities like those in the hill country. That increases the number of potential accidents or traumatic injuries, and medical centers want to be ready. There are some uh, strategic locations where blood will be pre-positioned. South Texas Blood and Tissue Center supports 48 counties and over 100 medical centers. Specialized program coordinator William Bullock says there's only so much they can pre-plan, so they have multiple transportation modes available. The Gridlock is, is going to be almost inevitable. If there's a large event, we have difficulty getting there with the ground units. Uh, we can get the blood there via the helicopter. Bullock is also keeping in mind all the local cancer or sickle cell patients who depend on blood for their routine procedures. So it, it's a balancing act for sure. The main problem isn't coordination, it's supply. And here at the center, the inventory is already low. Take a look at this. This is O negative, which is the universal blood type. There's only two rows filled. All of this is empty. What they're depending on are donors like Gabrelsic. This is the first time I've done a back to back. So this was seven days ago. So it's platelets. So you can do that every every seven days. He and Bullock are confident the community will step up in the next week. Everyone really does kind of galvanize together to to help their neighbors out. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.